Hello, everyone, and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. Healthy Waltham offered a food pantry today at the Fitch School on Moody Street. That's good news because, as you may remember, their last planned pantry there had to be canceled. Last week, both Channel 4 and Channel 10 ran stories about Healthy Waltham and the difficulties they've run into finding a long-term space. They've been told by the city they can only use the Fitch School until March, and as far as we know, they still don't have another space lined up. For more background on that situation, how you can help, check out our interview with Executive Director Miriam Michelle on our YouTube if you haven't already. The Little Queer Library announced this week that they need to shut down, at least temporarily, due to repeated incidents of a single person taking most of the books, as well as hate mail directed at the couple who hosts the library. You may remember the Little Queer Library has had issues with people taking large amounts of books for about a year now, but this is the first time they've shut down. Next Tuesday, January 31st, is the deadline for the city of Waltham to submit an online form to the state with information about how we plan to comply with the MBTA communities law. The Boston Globe reported back in December that Waltham Housing Authority is in danger of losing about $300,000 if Waltham doesn't comply with the law. Unfortunately, we don't know whether the form has been submitted or if there's a plan to submit it. As far as we know, uh, neither the mayor or any other city officials have addressed this publicly. Last Tuesday, City Council President McMenamin announced which councillors will serve on which committees this year, and those committees met for the first time in elected chairs. It was a packed house made up mostly of opponents of the planned solar farm in Lexington on the Waltham line, which they say will be unsafe for neighbors and the environment. They were there to support a resolution being discussed in the Public Works and Public Safety Committee about the solar plant. The city also is hosting a public meeting tonight, Thursday evening, about that same issue. Last week, the Conservation Commission held a public hearing about a portion of the Fernald site where the Mayor and Recreation Department have proposed building recreational amenities. That hearing was continued, meaning it will come up again at a future meeting after the commission has done a site visit and the engineer has made some adjustments to the plan. That site visit will be open to the public and it'll take place January 30th at 8 a.m. We'll talk more about that on our debrief show. Our first ever live event, Civic Engagement Beyond Voting, was a big success last week and the video is now on our YouTube, so check it out, especially if you've thought about helping on a campaign or maybe even running for office this year. The City Council will not be meeting this coming Monday. Their next meeting is on February 6th, and the next thing we post will be our debrief show, so stay tuned.